Of course, we have a really serious topic tonight because, as many of you know, on my channel we're dealing with a lot of Trinity stuff and Trinitarians and, you know, they're in a death spiral. They really are. They, they don't have anything left. And I'm going to prove it tonight. I've proven it for over two decades. I can't get them to respond to me on anything I've done. I can't get them to respond to me on the article I wrote 10 years ago about Jesus as the wisdom of Proverbs 8. I couldn't even get Trinitarians earlier tonight, like an hour ago, to watch videos I've already done on texts like Hebrews 1, and then they just post and repeat the exact same terrible questions that show a lack of understanding of the verbs used for the process of creation or putting things together that have already been created so they can't make they, they just can't put it together they can't make sense of how jesus can be involved in creation and not be the creator even though we've talked about it so often they can't even take the time to watch my videos they just keep posting the same already refuted positions that show they don't know what they're talking about and then they act like they know what they're talking about it's embarrassing i would be right i mean i would never go to someone's channel and just start posting the same old arguments i've always used without actually watching the videos on that channel especially when right on the front page of the channel you can see my playlist right the trinity Jesus and Michael, evidence Jesus is created, firstborn. <laughs> and then you ask me the very questions I answer in those videos. And then you want me to answer them all over again, right before you know I'm going to do a live stream. And you just said you knew I was getting ready for a live stream. <laughs> so we have Trinitarians that they just lost it. They, they know, they can sense, that's why they're going nuts. Their, their doctrine is done. It, it's, it's over. We have reached the end. Are they going to stop repeating the same refuted positions and post-biblical arguments? Probably not. I mean, some are going to realize, wait a minute, this isn't working, right? <laughs> These arguments don't work anymore. They're not correct. And hopefully they'll not lose their faith, right? We actually care about the Trinitarians here. We actually want them to be saved. Do you think a lot of these Trinitarians feel that way about us? <laughs> I don't think the comments reflect that. And um, so many of them are so lazy. I mean, they are lazy Trinitarians. Do you know what the Bible says about laziness? So when I give you links to videos, links to my articles, and then you don't read or watch them and instead turn right around and ask me another question without taking any quality time to review what I just showed you, you're lazy. You're not only in a death spiral with your traditions, you're lazy. You guys are lazy. I cannot believe it. So uh, for you non-Trinitarians, be aware. Like I posted in that video earlier, beware. These are blasphemers. Right? They're not running around trying to help people. They're running around trying to burden people. Right? They knew I was about to get ready for a live stream. And so they start posting all this stuff. Come on. So why don't you save it for the live stream, Trinitarians? What's wrong? We're here. Trinitarians, are you out there? This is the end of Trinitarianism. I thought maybe that would get your attention, you know, be important enough for you to show up. We'll see. But all I saw leading up to the show was confusion, laziness, an inability to take time and actually read texts and understand them. Right? They don't understand even creation. They, they don't understand how Jesus can be involved in creation without being the creator, <laughs> right? Because they don't understand Proverbs 8. They don't understand dia, and the passive verb form in Colossians 1, ectis they, were created through by someone else. 
<laughs> and then they act like there's an active form of the verb used for Jesus and what he did. There's never an instance of that. They don't understand the difference in the Hebrew text of Psalm 102 and the Greek text and how it's quoted in Hebrews 1, 10 through 12. When I did a whole video on it, they still don't get it. They won't even watch it. And so, it's, uh, it's pretty amazing to me when I see the way that, the, the extent to which they'll go out of their way to totally ignore information. So non-Trinitarians understand, they're, they're, some of them might be sincere, you know, and, and realize, whoa, you know, this is not, the Trinity is just not in the Bible, right? It's, it's totally different than what they realized, but some, they're never going to change, and they're just going to, they're going to lie to you. They're going to act like they will. They'll pretend. Just like the scribes and the Pharisees when they approached Jesus, right? Teacher, we know you teach the will of truth of God and you don't care about anybody's appearance. Yeah, sure, you, you believe that. Look at your questions for him. It's the same with the Trinitarians. They're just the same, right? I mean, they make almost the same types of accusations. They try to pretend that we haven't studied and they have and all this stuff. And yet they're the ones running around with these bankrupt Bible translations that absolutely blaspheme the name of God by removing it and putting Lord thousands of times, which is what Baal means, Baal. Nice going, Trinitarians. You've helped promote the equivalent of Baal, Jah's enemy, in place of his very own name. Good luck holding that Bible when the Lord Jesus Christ arrives and realizes what you've done to his father's name. And then they put down the New World Translation, which is so superior to these biased, non-divine name-containing texts that the Trinitarians are running around using, right? You, they can't even make sense of John 1.1. 1, 1. It, it's a joke. And I'm going to do a whole series on it pretty soon, showing how the New World Translation is superior to these Trinitarian theological translations. Almost every one of them, by the way, in the majority of cases. And I've already shown that in numerous instances in most of what I've done. I can't get the Trinitarians to read or respond to anything. I can't get them to watch my video on Proverbs 8. I can't get them to read my article on Proverbs 8. I can't get them to respond to my books on Proverbs 8. And then they run over here and start asking me questions like I've never considered it. No, no, the truth is you haven't considered it, Trinitarians, because you're too absorbed in your traditions, your non-divine name containing Bibles, so you don't even know the difference between the Lord of David and the Lord that, he, that is speaking to that Lord in Psalm 110.1. To you, it's just Lord, Lord, when in the text, it's Jehovah said to my Lord which is quoted in Hebrews 1.13, showing you again the use of the Lord that is used in verses 10 through 12 that's not in the Hebrew text of Psalm 102, showing the messianic application. And so there you go. There's your little summary of information about the video I gave you to watch because you guys can't figure out anything on your own, it seems. Because the way you've been posting in my chat, it's like you don't even take time to study. You just run over here and throw text at the screen. And then I give you text back and say, what? What do you want? What? Trinity. Trinity. Right? It's just they just default back to it's like you didn't do anything. It's like they just got wiped. And now they're just reset. Same, lame, already refuted arguments. And I don't want you non-Trinitarians to take the bait from them. Right? We've spent a lot of time with them the last few days, including today. A lot of time. Look at the comments in the last few videos. Right? So I have given these people a tremendous amount of time and information. And it's like it doesn't even make a difference. As a, wow, you're not going to answer that. But how, many things, how much do you want to hear, Trinitarians? Are you ever going to read on your own? Are you ever going to take the time to figure this stuff out instead of just posting and posting and posting? So at this point, if you guys, keep, the Trinitarians, you've had your chance. I've given you a ton of of leeway on this channel. So if you if if you haven't made any headway with it yet, right? I've got one person I gave some links to earlier, and he knows who he is. 
and I'm expecting him not to run away like he claimed I would. We'll see who runs next. I don't even think he'll be able to come back and summarize the points I've made in the video. They never do. It's embarrassing. But when, you're, when your doctrine, when your whole theological view is in a death spiral, that's got to be tough. I understand. We've called your bluff. You guys are done. So I'm here right now. I don't see anything related to the subject or what we're going to be talking about. You Trinitarians have your shot. But if you go nuts, that's not what's going to be allowed. So it's strange to me, though, that these people are so obsessed with our channel. And it's because no one, no one really cares what they think anymore. No one believes them anymore. They're just caught up in the traditions of the group that they belong to. They don't really care about that stuff. You can tell. They don't even watch the videos or read the texts I give them. They just repeat the same questions like I never even answered it. So try not to get into that trap. I let it happen a little bit. It's okay because I wanted to give them, you know, as much as I could. But once we've done what we're supposed to do, we don't have to keep spending time with these people. They're never going to learn. Always learning, I should say, and never learning. But some of them do, so I'm not, I'm not saying nobody is, is listening, but there's quite a few whom I can tell are not taking seriously what we're doing. And I'm not going to waste my time if you're not going to take it seriously. right? I'm, not, I'm here to take it seriously. Some of you Trinitarians are just a joke. Right? You run around, you lie about people, you slander people, you keep quoting other slanderous people. You never present any evidence of any of your Trinitarian concepts, eternal generation, person of God. You Trinitarians can't even use the word God for, for God <laughs> or Jesus in the biblical sense. Never. Not one time do you guys do that. So it's ridiculous when you ask questions. You can't even use the word God and be correct because God to you is the Trinity or a person of the Trinity. It's never the Father as the one God. And oh, what do you know? That's the explicit teaching of the text. Not good enough for Trinitarians. One God the Father, that's what the Bible says. One God the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. That's what the Trinity says. So are you going to go with the Trinity Trinitarians? Or are you going to go with the Bible? That's, on, that's up to you. But the way you're acting in my chat and these comments and your laziness, I am shocked at how lazy you guys are. Not only just today, but again, I've been waiting over a decade, two decades for responses. And they're not here. And where are they? You guys show up and you just repeat the same stuff that we've already refuted. You're just behind. You're so far behind, there's nothing to debate. You understand? You haven't responded. You just asked the exact same things. So I'm like, well, we already did that. Here you go. Are you going you gonna to respond now? No? See ya. Right? So try to, try to limit your time because remember, they're here to stop us from bringing the light because they know that's going to shine and expose their darkness. They don't have anything. They're done. And I'm going to prove it again in just a few minutes. So thank you all for uh, joining me. But I had quite an interesting uh, afternoon with these people. And I'm just shocked at how pathetic they've become. They don't have anything new. Nothing. It's the same stuff. And it's like, are you guys ever going to learn it? It's immediately, immediately makes me think of that text. Always learning, never learning. They don't learn. They're never going to figure this out because to figure it out would be the end of Trinitarianism. Which brings us to our show.